Okay, well, <laughs> I am back, and that took a hell of a lot longer than I thought it would. I needed so much of <laughs> that electric steel, but I finally got all of the capacitor banks I needed, so let's grab all of them. I did, in fact, make 100 of these things, so, yeah. <laughs> I also made uh, 64, a full stack of the energy conduits. I might actually need to make more, but... I figured one stack should be enough for right now. So let's head back, head down here, and I will set this stuff up. Now I made a little platform out here in the water, kind of away from uh, everything, just so it would be, well, away from everything. So what I'm going to have is two kind of uh, things right here. I'm going to cover these platforms with these. Now, if I put one down like this and mouse over it, you can see that it can hold 5, 000, 5 million MJ or 5 million RF, which is exactly what it uh, holds, RF, not MJ. So it can hold 5 million uh, redstone flux, but it has a maximum input and output of 1,000. I can't go higher than this on this single block. But as you can see there, when I put another block next to it, it t the uh, texture tiles and it becomes a single block. And now it can it can output and input 2,000 RF per tick. And if I continue to build this up, it now can input and output 3,000 RF per tick, and now 4,000, and so on and so forth. So if I build a fairly large platform with nothing but this stuff now it can hold 20,000 it can it can output 20,000 input 20,000 and hold what is that 100,000 10 million 100, 10 million it can hold 10 million rf right now 10.5 That's not 10, is it? 12 million? Bop. Nope, I need to put it there. Come on. There. So I'm going to continue building a little platform out here and get all this stuff set up. Now, I, I, I'm ha I'm, I decided to go with kind of two different... Uh, platforms right here with one thing uh, linking the two of them. Hopefully this looks okay. Uh, there we go. So, bop, bop, bop. Just have to press shift so it all tiles together and I don't right click it. There we go. And how many am I actually going to need for this? I did make a hundred, so ten of them would hold fifty million. A hundred will hold uh, five hundred million RF. So so far, it's holding four hundred fifty million RF that can be stored in here. I've got ten left over, so hmm. One in the middle, one in, oop, bop, bop, and I want to go for a little design here, maybe, uh, there, there, here, and there. There we go. So, now, now this entire thing is just one huge battery box. The entire thing is one huge thing. It's a uh, one huge storage battery that can hold 500 million. It can output and input 100,000 RF per tick, which is more than enough to handle the energy output from these three, these uh, four uh, rotational dynamos. Because, like I said before, the uh, resonant energy cells I'm using inside my base can only input and output 
10,000 RF per tick and each of these is outputting 5,000 so that's over 20,000 total so uh, yeah it would not, would not have been able to handle that much input a lot of the energy would have been wasted and the uh, energy conduits themselves can only hold 10,000 at a time so it, it, would, it would have lost a lot while it was transferring but with these Ender energy conduits that can transfer 20,000 at a tick I can put them right here and uh, huh, they're a lot thinner than the thermal expansion conduits but since these can hold 20,000 I can connect two of these just like this and uh, have them connecting up right here so two of the dynamos on this side and two on that side when they spike up over 5,000 each that's over 10,000 these conduits should still be able to handle that power output more than handle it with more than enough of a buffer so now I just need to bring these lines let's see is this where is this gonna meet up right there so if I put it right here and have this one coming out right here it should oop, uh, bop, there so I should be able to run a line all the way what am I doing I can just fly <laughs> uh, yeah so yeah I can have a line running out all the way here oop did not want to do that break no uh go away I want you to give, there we go come here come here so I should be able to bring the line all the way here and have it coming in right here now the way this uh capacitor bank works it works similar to other storage systems similar to the energy cells as well and I could just right but I can in order to input or output a particular side I can right click it and I think that's an input I think that's output I think that's blocking and that's off so if I'm not mistaken I should be able to put this right here and all the energy from those two dynamos should be coming in here and if I oop I did not mean to do that uh, there we go no no right there so if I put it right there I think that is input if I am not mistaken so should be able to run this line all the way all the way from over here with uh, out too much trouble if I can actually center myself and not drift too much while flying so there we go now I should be able to turn this generator this uh, uh, reactor back on uh, I do need to put the fuel back in there because I took it out because it was using up the fuel a little bit so that is a concern uh, let's see one two three four I took it out of the four center square ones that way it would stop any uh, kind of reaction that was happening 3% depleted so if I put that one in there put this one in here and there and there I should be able to come up here turn this on retract all and I just need to come over here and hook this back up because I took the uh, steam vent out just to save any of the steam that was uh, saved up in this pipe I didn't want it to just go out be running non-stop with nothing actually being powered because it would just all the steam would just continue to flow through that uh, steam vent right there and just be wasted so I figured it, would be, it was better than uh, just having it being wasted like that so let's take a look and see if this is actually charging it looks like it actually is it's already up to 2 million of 500 million and like I said like I showed before this can generate upwards of 20 million RF per tick 
20,000 RF per tick once it this uh, gets up to speed. So this will <laughs> put out a lot of energy. I'm not exactly sure how fast or how f uh, far, how long it'll take to actually fill this up. I mean, this is 500 million, but it seems to be going at a pretty good tick right now. Let's see, is it up to speed yet? Yep, looks like it. Pretty close to up to speed. So I should, theoretically, uh, be able to put this one. Uh, send only, receive only. Let's see, I had one of these. I should be able to put this on here. Come on. And is this working? Yeah, that's still working. So I should be able... Reactor power. General use. Now I did set up two new ones. The ones for general use, which is the one I've been using, and reactor power, which is going to be the network I'm going to be using for this. Now item mode blocked. Fluid mode blocked. Energy mode. Send. Send only. This one should be sending power, blocked all items, blocked all fluid, and sending power. Okay, so now I just need to head up there and hook up this other Tesseract. Uh, if I can... Oop, nope, I'm going to get down there if I ever stop lagging. Now, what I plan on doing is I cleared out this uh, these blocks that were right here. I have this tesseract. I'm going to sit right here. General use. No, it's now set to reactor. Set it to reactor. Item mode blocked. Fluid mode blocked. Blocked. Send only. Receive only. Now, I can hook some redstone conduits up here, and it should output power. Is it outputting power to it? Hmm? Is it? Uh... Is it receiving energy, any energy at all? It doesn't look like it. Uh... Huh. Uh, I wonder if I actually have to hook it up to a, uh... Via a output. That's right, I did not hook... I did not do that. I need to click that, set that to output, and then put it on there and see if that'll work. I forgot I had to do that. I had to move the input output on the thing itself. So let's see if this is working now. Is any of this receiving power? Ooh, looks like it is. Looks like it is charging these energy cells up a hell of a lot faster. Because it sure as hell not coming from all of these uh, uh, magmatic dynamos. So look at this. It is char the, the power is coming from my, gener my uh, reactor out there, flowing through the dynamos, coming through the tesseracts, and filling up all of my resonant energy cells. I mean, look at this. It's already filling up so fast. It's already up to what? Uh, what is that? One million? Already up to a million. So, from now on, whenever I need power or a quick boost of power, all I have to do is go out there to my uh, reactor, turn it on, let it run for a bit, and have it Ooh, crap. Oh no. Damn it. It is still catching and uh, causing problems here for some reason. I don't know what's happening. Why is it still doing that? Uh. Damn it. I guess I have to put a. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. I guess I have to leave a square open. don't want to get caught in those fan blades. Uh, so, yeah. 
uh, from now on, all I have to do <laughs> is, well, first off, I need to figure out why and where all that steam is, is leaking from. It shouldn't be leaking at all. It should all be coming out underneath the bottom, coming out underneath that shaft and being sent into those two condensers and then sent out here to the uh, void, fluid void. But apparently it's uh, getting loose someplace. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, how fast is this filling up? Oh, and another thing this thing it uh, has. It has this little bar on the side that you can actually look on it and see how much power it has. So as the power fills up, the bar fills up. And you can just look at it and see at a distance. So right now it has 80 million. So about 20% uh, filled. Not a lot, but it is filling up very, very fast, so that is nice. Um, let's see, anything else I need to do? Uh, let's see. Got all the dynamos hooked up to the power grid. I got that hooked up. I got... Ooh, I do need to run a line down here to my actual uh, redstone thing because the ME controller needs power. So, I think I'm going to do that. Come on, go up there. Do I have enough line? I have 30 of this. So, I might use this. Do I have enough room, though? Do I have enough line itself? Hmm. I might not. Uh, that's 30 blocks. Ooh, I might need to get some more cable. So, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to cut it here. And... Uh, yeah, pretty much this is set up. My reactor is set up. My turbine is set up. My power generation conversion to RF redstone flux is set up. My massive storage system is set up. And my sending system to send it to my base to get all my machines going is set up. So, I think that's a success. That's enough for one day. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. This has been Minecraft Horizons Mod Pack. And this has been uh, Reactor Craft Reactors. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next time. But I might actually start looking into building a fish fusion reactor. If I have enough materials. But that's going to take a long time and a lot of materials. So, yeah. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.